At first glance, an oil refinery can look, well, confusing. Pipes here, tanks there. While not all refineries are the same, using a simplified model we can take a look at how crude oil is refined. To better understand the refinery, we need to understand crude oil. It's a tar-like substance pulled from the earth. On a molecular level, it contains hydrogen and carbon, or hydrocarbons. Different hydrocarbons have different sized molecules. The longer the molecule, the more energy in the form of heat is needed to refine it. The crude is superheated, so it becomes vapor. It's then pumped into an atmospheric distillation unit at 60 meters tall. As the vapor rises, it goes through various trays with different temperatures. This separates the hydrocarbons based on the temperature at which it will condense back into a liquid. Lighter hydrocarbons with shorter chain lengths have a lower boiling point, and go to the top of the column where it's coolest. The heaviest condenses and settles at the bottom, leading to the crude being separated to different trays to form different substances. Each substance is then pumped out 